All right, my dudes and dudettes. I just got back from seeing Thor Love and Thunder. Um, this is the non-spoiler review, so I've got to be as generic as possible. And let me tell you, I enjoyed it. Now, I know saying that a lot of people hardcore disagreed with my thoughts on Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Well, those people weren't hugged enough by their parents and have no love or joy in the world. So that being said, Thor Love and Thunder is great. I always think the Thor movies are great. Do I think all of the Marvel Universe movies are great? No. I absolutely hated Eternals, and I won't stop talking about it. However, Thor Love and Thunder, perfecto. Um, they definitely don't forget their own continuity, which is something that I love. And that there's a lot of little teeny tiny, like, if you've seen all the movies thus far, you're going to have a great time. If you haven't seen all the movies thus far, you're going to have a great time. It definitely tells a story and lets you know enough of the backstory to keep you going no matter what. Um, I feel like this was one of the movies that was genu genuinely made for everyone, um, not just the hardcore comic fans, the MCU fans. There were a lot of great moments for the comic fans, um, which I will definitely be talking about in my spoiler review, which will be out in about two weeks. Um, funnily enough, editor Brian, who has to actually edit my spoiler review, uh, still hasn't seen Thor Love and Thunder yet and probably won't be able to get to for about another week or so uh, as he is sick with the COVID. So that being said, um, I liked Thor Love and Thunder. It was very good. I definitely recommend it as more of a date night as opposed to a family film. There was a lot of cussing in it for a Marvel movie, which I was very surprised. Um, but there was also a lot of moments when I would look over and Rachel would just... She never left my arm. It was a very cuddly date night movie. Uh, I mean, love being in the title, it was a very lovery movie. I very much liked it. You definitely find out how Korg's uh, species mates. I know that's a little bit of a spoiler, but... <laughs> Man, such a good movie. Uh, yes, the Guardians were in it, uh, a little guest star moment, but they weren't in there too much. Um, you know, a lot of things from the trailer, they didn't pull a whole bunch of the uh, in-game Infinity War stuff where they misled you with things that didn't even happen. Um, so I thought that was neat. Um, but it definitely, you know, gives the reason why Thor leaves the Guardians as it had been established up to this point that he was traveling with them. Um, it definitely gives the reason why he's back to doing his own solo movies. Um, not so much of a spoiler. Loki was not in it except for like a couple of flashbacks when they were giving, you know, the Winchester, -y, the story thus far thing. Um, definitely give it five out of five lightning bolts for sure. Um, there are a lot of Easter eggs in this movie, man. Uh, so definitely hang tight for my next video when I talk about it more. But for now, you know, I like to keep these non-spoiler review short, you know, short videos because there's not really a lot you can say without ruining the movie for someone other than it was good. I definitely recommend you go see it as a date night movie if you can, you know. Not everybody has those special people out there and it's not your fault. Somebody loves you. I love you. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time on The Domain. My name is Josh, and I highly recommend Thor Love and Thunder.